Oh, you're going to feel like you're at the top of the world in this place. Welcome to the magical Himalayan kingdom, Nepal. We got three programs going on over here, one in Patan, one in Bhaktapur, and one in Kathmandu. Before we get into all the details though, let's talk about how you get into Nepal. In order to enter Nepal, you're going to need a valid passport as well as a tourist visa which can be issued upon arrival. The prices of these visas are subject to change, so make sure you keep up with the embassy's website right over here. Finally, heaven forbid it, but if anything should ever happen emergency-wise, make sure you keep this number with you at all times. And also, if you have any flight delays or anything like that, the first person you should contact is your coordinator at the phone number we'll provide you with in the confirmation email. Also, remember to keep the information on the address and the phone numbers of the embassies of the countries that you'll be going to. Upon arriving, you'll meet up with your coordinator who will have a sign with your name on it. Follow them and they'll escort you to the facilities that you'll be staying at where you can rest and relax from the jet lag. The next day, they'll show you around the area so that you can kind of get a feel of the culture and the people of the city. Now, the official language of Nepal is Nepali, which is spoken by over half of the entire population. The other half speaks the various languages according to which ethnic group they come from. Now, the currency of Nepal is the Nepali rupee. Now, if you'd like to exchange your money, let your coordinator know, and they will be happy to assist you. Just a little insight, Nepal has such a rich and colorful history and culture. About 80% of the people are Hindu with a smaller 10% Buddhist minority. Everywhere you go you'll see temples and monasteries and kids playing in the ancient ruins and Buddhist monks with cell phones. It's crazy, it's awesome. And not to mention the Himalayan mountains, many of which are the tallest ones in the world which will be right in your backyard. Also, a broader view really recommends getting a cell phone while you're in this area. Depending on what plan you get, it could cost anywhere between eh, $60 to $100. Remember to carry extra costs for this as well. Getting around in this area is relatively easy. There's tons of taxis and buses that will take you to just about anywhere. Now remember, if you'd like to check out a site or go somewhere, make sure you let your coordinator know so that they can arrange something so that you can get back into the house. Also, they might show a little bit of worry for you, but don't take offense to this. It just means they're a little concerned about you heading out on your own. And likewise, they might recommend going out with a family member or friend. Also remember to adhere to the A Broader View curfew rules. That's right, we got curfew. Now remember, in this area you'll be living with a host family, which means you'll be treated like part of the family. Which means you'll have to clean up after yourself and keep your area neat and clean and do appropriate chores when necessary. Now remember, in this area it's not uncommon for the typical household to have extended generations of family to live with them. You might have to find a way to smoothly integrate if this is not really a part of your customary lifestyle. Now, Nepali food is kind of like a mixture between Indian and Chinese. I mean, you got your lentils and curries and rices. But if you really want to try some authentic Sherpa food, try some gur, which is like a potato pancake, and usually it's served with yak's milk or yak's tea. Interesting. Oh, and of course, feel free to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Flickr. We got a lot of good stuff for you guys. It doesn't end right here at A Broader View. Feel free to check it out. And that's about it. Just remember, while volunteering, stay proactive, understanding, open-minded, and above all, respectful to the rules and regulations of a broader view and to the people and culture of the places that you'll be going to. Once you jump in, you will not regret having made that decision you made to jump in and volunteer.